Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you listening. I'm Lynette Kittle, and today's topic is, Will God Really Work All Things Together for Our Good? We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Randy. And we're from Salty Saints Podcast. We're a theology and apologetics podcast. We hope to better equip you to be salt and light for your community. Uh, We hope that we can help you to go out and be a reflection of Jesus Christ to those around you, uh, to your friends and your family, and especially to those that do not know Christ. To find out more, subscribe at lifeaudio.com. Will God Really Work All Things Together for Our Good? Written and read by Lynette Kittle. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 Do we really believe when things don't go our way that God will work all things together for our good in our lives? What is our reaction? And where do our thoughts lead us when a major household appliance breaks down? Or how do we handle when a store overcharges us a large amount of money and we have to wait 7 to 10 days for a refund? After a car accident, when we're left without transportation, do we believe that somehow it will all work together for our best? In all these situations where we suffer losses and our inconvenience, where we feel drained of energy and resources, exhausted dealing with the hassles involved in the losses, replacements, and so forth, do we really believe God will work these things together for good in our lives? What if instead of letting the situations and our emotions lead our responses when something unexpected or unpleasant happens, we choose to correct ourselves by remembering what God's Word says about His working all things together for our good. Rather than letting angry, fearful, disappointed thoughts lead us astray, what if we purposely turn our thoughts and words to trust God's Word over the situation and circumstances? What might we experience if we choose to go the opposite way our emotions try to take us? Philippians 4, 6, 7 Describe what we can expect to happen when we choose this route over fear, anxiety, stress, and distress. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Even more so, What about more difficult things that happen in life, such as devastating tragedies, like losing a loved one, experiencing a natural disaster, or all at the same time? Is it even possible for us to believe God can bring good from horrific events and losses? Human emotions are quick to rush in and often take over in such heartbreaking situations. When they do, how do we respond? Are we quick to readjust our frail and vulnerable first responses to line up with God's word rather than our situation? Or do we let the circumstances run away with us and take us off to dark places with our thoughts and emotions? Trusting God and believing what his word tells us is true takes time and practice to develop within us. It also takes a commitment to know his word and to let it lead us in our responses. Turning to God and His promises rather than our own fears brings comfort and relief, freeing us from distress, panic, and doubt. Even if it looks impossible for an event, situation, or circumstance to ever be worked together for our good, we can choose to trust Him. We can resist trying to second-guess or figure out how God could possibly 
weave it together in a good way. Like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 encourages us to do, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Even in the deepest, darkest hours, we can lean on Him. We can trust His Word, His truth, even when it doesn't seem to fit or make sense to us at the time. Intersecting Faith and Life Is there a situation or circumstance in your own life that has you wondering how God could ever work it all together for your good? If so, choose to trust Him today and let go of your fears and doubts, believing He will do what His Word promises He will do. Further reading Three Powerful Truths from Romans 8.28 that we've been missing. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.